Morning everybody, down on uh, my favourite bit of uh, Strand on the Green. As you know, I'm uh, quite a big fan of this place. And I thought it might be quite a good idea, one of my very many good ideas, to do a little video of how to take better pictures. So, uh, better pictures on your phone. What a lot of people do, I find, is they see something nice, snap away, and tend to be a little bit disappointed with the results. So I thought, let's just have a little video, see if we can make those so that you actually want to show your friends your pictures. First thing is, here we go, here's a bridge. There you go, straight away. Somebody doing a photo. Here's a bridge. There's how a lot of people would photograph it, quite nice. But just take two more seconds to recompose it. There we go, a little bit of foreground. We've got the boat in now. Train, I'd take it right now. Train over there, over the bridge, and um, looks quite nice. So just take a two seconds longer to frame the shot. Even just recompose it. See the boat down there? A lot of people would stand here and go, oh look, nice boat, there's a picture. So why don't we go down these steps, see how I go for all this danger for you lot and let's just take a better composed picture so there we go bit of foreground interest nice boat compose it like that I think that looks quite nice just take two more seconds to think about your shot so instead of a boat like that which I've seen plenty of photos of nothing wrong with that perfectly reasonable just think about your shots. So let's come back. We've got a bit of interest with this chain here, so that might be quite nice. There we go. Quite a nice shot. Picture of the bridge. Let's take that as well. So if we walk along the shore, in all honesty, you can't go wrong on Strand on the Green taking pictures, so I know I'm cheating on the most picturesque place in uh, in London but just get down get down there we go nice little shot there got the Sun maybe raise it up a little bit got the Sun in the shot quite nice let's look the other way there we go Q bridge over there same sort of idea just think about your shot there that's quite a nice shot got the boat in the foreground Maybe what we could do is walk round. There we go. Shot of the boat. Maybe come a little bit lower. Looks quite nice, I think. So instead of just taking shot there of a boat or shot of a houses, beautiful houses, let's think about composing it. Give people a bit of interest when they're looking at your photos. Try and get something in the foreground and they'll be more interested in your shot. So if we walk along here, I always feel like a complete idiot walking along and talking into my camera, but there we go. Bit of tree here, so that's quite a nice photo there. We've got the shoreline running across the shot, quite nice. Let's take the houses here. There we go. Bit of foreground interest. Houses look a lot better, I think, like that. Instead of just straight on. Shoreline running down. Tree in the foreground, houses across the right. Reasonably nice shot there. Shooting into the sun, always tricky. But just use it, make it look good for you. Nothing wrong with that. I'm just walking down a bit further down Strand on the Green towards this bridge. That might be quite a nice shot. Bit too much tree though. So again, just take two seconds longer and frame it. There we are. Foreground. Got some houses. Got the bridge. Looks a bit nicer. So, pleasant enough shot. Too much tree. Walk along again. Spend there, nice reflections. Straight into the sun. 
looking back again that shot looks all right but a little bit boring got houses in too much trees can't really see so we're going to take a walk further same down. shot again a little bit better but i'm still not particularly happy with it doesn't quite do it for me we've got that post bang in the middle of the shot always or never rather a good idea to have something bang in the middle all your eye looking at at the moment is that post that's in the middle so I think we need to walk a bit further see if we can recompose that shot I think it's going to get better as we go back so let's try and make it as good as we possibly can here we go let's found some more steps let's go down here see if we can get a decent shot looking backwards there I think that's that's a nicer shot there looking all right maybe we can get it even better let's let's try and put some more foreground interest into this if I don't slip over and break my neck that is on this mossy bit there I think that's that's looking nicer again that post that's over on the left a little bit distracting to your eye don't really want a picture of a post so that one that's probably the nicer nicer shot there just spent two seconds longer now the posts are actually framing those towers which I think makes it look a little bit more interesting we're down here looking back at the bridge we've got too much tree in the way at the moment so let's try and use that tree maybe but let's see there we are and there's your classic train shot strand on the green I'd take it now having a wander another boat these boats along strand on the green are the most photographed boats in Britain I would say and uh, probably quite rightly beautiful scenery wherever you look but what we want to try and do is make it look really good in the photo so let's see if we can frame this bridge still not quite right still too distracting too many things going on here though there we go that's quite a nice shot quite like that it's got the lamp post get it over there we go that's how some people would take it but your lamppost is bang in the middle of the shot again get it over about a third of the way in here comes the train there we go bang perfect shot coming up to the bridge got that lamppost that you can possibly see just on the left but you can't really see the top of it because of how the bridge is so let's just walk a bit closer there we go got the sun just in the lamppost I think that's quite a nice shot compared to back here if we'd have just snapped away there doesn't really do it let's come to here just got it boom right in the middle here we are a bit closer to the bridge pleasant enough shot doesn't really do it for me but if we raise it up a bit there we go we've got the sunlight just coming through the bridge or we could come closer a bit more abstract but quite pretty walking a bit further on pleasant enough shot but I think we can do better than that here's a classic classic photo underneath the bridge but there's the shot at the moment let's walk a bit further back though again just taking a few more seconds of our valuable time to try and get a nicer shot nearly there just walking back there we go framed with the bridge I think that looks just a lot nicer of course it helps when you've got perfectly sunny day to do all of this but it can look amazing in the rain at night there we go framing the towers got the bridge got the towers got the pub quite pleasant yet another of the most photographed boats 
as we look around, reflection of the bridge, quite nice I think. Just think about how you're um, composing your shots. Don't just snap away. You get nice shots. Point your camera anywhere here and you'll get nice shots. But let's have a little think about getting them even better. There we go. We've got the boat, the bridge, the reflections. I think that's quite nice. Well, that's it for today. Hope uh, it's been vaguely interesting for you. Hope it's going to help you to reframe some of your shots. Thanks so much for watching my little video. It'd be great if you press subscribe now and uh, be even better if you had a look at my Instagram account. So check it out, Alistair Hilton, Instagram. And um, take care. See you again soon. Bye-bye.